Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting System tutorial, I'll talk about Batch Module. Batch Module is an additional module that you need to purchase separately. It will be very useful if you want to categorize your item into batches and control the expiry date and manufacturing date. But in practical, this is not an easy to implement module. Imagine, when you purchase or when you produce, it will become different different batches. Meaning that in one day, you might have many batches. And the problems always arise when you sell. Because if you want to do a proper control, the person that take out the stock must also able to identify this item is from which batch. So during key in, he need to specifically put in the batch. Let's say he simply put, okay, or he take out the item is from batch one and he just put into the system as batch three, then the whole control will be wrong. So the stock control is very important because you need to arrange your item according to batches to enable the person who sell and take out the item can easily retrieve according to batch. Well, if you can do this, batch is a very useful module for you. Now, let's see how it works. The first thing is, of course, we can go to stock and we can go to maintain batch. Let's say you do not have this, meaning that you did not purchase. You can purchase it separately. So we go to maintain batch. Currently, I already have batch A and batch B. Let's create batch C. Okay, let's create batch C. Let's say you don't know what to put and if you empty it, system will create a code for you. Let's create batch C and put in the expiry date as mm, next year, 11-2019 and manufacturing date maybe today, the date 11 2018 example. Okay, maybe you do not have manufacturing date, uh, you only have the expiry date because you purchase from overseas. You still can put in the manufacturing date from the overseas if you want to. So item wise, you can put some item or just leave it back, no problem. You can put remark one, remark two. Let's say I put in an item called contents A1. Okay, so I save it. Close it. You do not need to do anything in the maintain stock. You just do the normal way of purchasing and selling. Let's create a purchase invoice. The purchase invoice I purchased from this person. I contact lens one. And you can see that there is a batch. Let's say let's say you do not see any batches here oh, i should remove all this unnecessary fill for you what you can do is to remove the fill you can right click any column title remove this column remove this column anything that is not related maybe project is not related location not related all the text also we remove it so it's easier for you to see okay now now I want to get the badges, but it's not here. <coughs> Excuse me. Then what you can do is right click any column title, field chooser, drag out the badge. Okay. Or at any column title, most left, there is a multiple line, small button. Click on it. You also can see all the available field over here. Let's say badges. It's thick, meaning that it will appear and thick. It's not appear. So I take it back. So this round, I want to put it as batch C. And let's put 20. Okay. So in this state, I purchase this invoice. Okay. For contact lens A1 with 20 in batch C. Okay. And you do a selling. Sales invoice. New. Select the customer. Select the item. Remember, select the batch. This is what I mean. The person that take out 
the item need to know which batch it's from. If let's say you take out batch C, so you need to specify batch C. Let's say I take out five. Okay, then save it. So for transaction wise, this is how you use the batch. Then you need to look at report. There are three main report regarding to batch. The first one is stock cut. Go to stock, print stock cut. So let's say I just want to view for batch C. See what happened in batch C. So in batch C, on this date, I purchased 20. Then I sell out 5. That means the balance is 15. So this for this batch, this is the transactions. Of course, the other way is instead of the batch, I can look at maybe the particular item. Let's say contact lens A1. Apply. Preview. So for contact lens A1 is actually in batch A and also batch C. So this is for stock card. Of course, for all SQL document or report, you can actually click on this icon. This is export icon. You can export to PDF or JPEG or any other format. Okay. So the first report is stock card. Second report is under stock. There is something called print stock batch expiry date. You use batch mainly is because you want to know anything that's going to expire soon so that you want to sell it out first. So, of course, if I check over here, there's nothing. But if I check until 2019, apply, then I know that this three batch for this three item, then it's going to expire and it will also count the remaining links for you. You can preview it. Okay. So this is the second report test related to stock batch inquiry, expiry date, sorry. Then the last report is go to stock also, maintain batch, and you directly go to preview button. Then stock batch or stock batch listing. So it will actually show you the batch, okay, the code, the description, the balance quantity for individual item, the expiry date and manufacturing date also. So basically, this is a very easy to use a module. If you can use it correctly, it will be very useful. So this is how batch module work in SQL accounting system. Um, once again, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.